I am Dr. Margo Watson. I'm a member of Signature OBGYN practicing at Howard County General Hospital. We are a member of the Johns Hopkins family of physicians. A hysterectomy is an operation to remove the uterus and the cervix. There are a variety of reasons why women would need a hysterectomy. Pelvic pain, irregular or heavy periods, fibroids, endometriosis are common reasons that women need a hysterectomy. Uh, it is also done as a treatment for cancer of the gynecologic organs. Patients who are transgender will also request a hysterectomy as part of their gender-affirming transition. I'd say the strongest factor is their quality of life. Uh, obviously, if someone has cancer, then there often isn't any other option. Um, but when a hysterectomy is done for non-cancerous reasons, almost always we've tried much more conservative methods first. And when those don't work, and people are suffering from pain or bleeding, then a hysterectomy can be a curative procedure. It can be absolutely life-changing. So a hysterectomy is removal just of the uterus and the cervix. The ovaries are what produce hormones and is the loss of ovarian function that results in menopause. So when we do a hysterectomy, we don't remove the ovaries unless there's a very good reason for it. So just removing the uterus does not cause menopause. When doing a hysterectomy, we typically recommend that the fallopian tubes also be removed. Recent studies have shown that about 50 to 60 percent of ovarian cancers actually start in the fallopian tubes. So by removing them, we can lower a woman's lifetime risk of ovarian cancer. This does not affect her ovaries or menopause or her hormonal functioning um, and is a huge benefit from hysterectomy. There are three different ways to perform a hysterectomy. Uh, it can be done with a fairly large abdominal incision, uh, similar to that of a cesarean section. Um, it can be done vaginally, where the incisions are just in the vagina, or it can be done laparoscopically. That means with several very small incisions in the abdomen. The recovery from a minimally invasive hysterectomy, which means one done either with small incisions or through the vagina, so there's no abdominal incision, is generally not too bad. Women go home from the hospital the next day. They're achy and sore for a few days and tired for a couple of weeks, but they really do fine with Tylenol and ibuprofen afterwards. Some women can go back to work in two weeks if they have a job that doesn't require any heavy lifting. Um, with an abdominal hysterectomy, that means the larger incision, recovery is a little bit longer and a little more difficult. Uh, often women can go home still the next day, sometimes they stay two days in the hospital, but they will take them longer to bounce back. Many women are concerned about their sex life before and after a hysterectomy. In general, if one has a good sex life before a hysterectomy, you will have a good sex life after a hysterectomy. It does not affect orgasms or how intercourse feels, and many women find intercourse to be a lot more pleasurable after the problem has been taken care of.